Pre-ride meals will mean different things to different people, depending on what time you actually get out and sit in the saddle. So, World Tour nutritionist Nigel Mitchell is going to share us two recipes today. One is the perfect pre-ride breakfast, and the second is a pre-ride meal suitable for any time of day. And both of them are recipes taken from our new book, The Plant-Based Cyclist, which is a complete guide to living and riding on a plant-based diet, and written by none other. Nigel himself. Should we start with breakfast, Nigel? Let's start with breakfast, first meal of the day. Yes, and the best. Porridge is probably one of the most simple meals that you can that you can do. And we're going to cook it on a on a stove top. Some yep. people will use a microwave. Uh, one of the things you can use is some of these uh, electronic pressure cookers where you set it the night before so it's ready for you on the morning. So, so no excuses about being short for time. No. It'll be ready to roll as soon as you get out of bed. But I find actually, you know, cooking it like this on a stove top, first thing on the morning, you're waking up, it's quite therapeutic as well. So what we're going to do first of all is just start the pan. So okay. we'll put the uh, the pan on a on a relatively low heat. What we don't want to do is be burning things. Okay. And what we'll do next is we'll add the milk to it. So we're using almond milk. Now there's lots of dairy-free milks available and it's you have to be quite careful that you're choosing something that is fortified uh, with calcium. Uh, Almond milk is a little bit lower in protein than soy milk, so if you're wanting more protein, then you, you, you might use soy milk. Or again, you can use, you can add some of the uh, unflavoured vegetable protein as well with that, uh, just to add that little bit more protein to it. And you will use roughly twice as much milk as what you do for the oats. Okay. So basic rule to porridge is two parts liquid to one part oats. Um, what I like to do is just warm my milk up first as, I, as I'm cooking. So I'm just going to add uh, the milk. I'm not going to put it all in to begin with because if it uh, starts thickening up a little bit more than I want it to, then I can add some more. Okay. Uh, quite often as well though, people will have porridge made with, uh, with water. Uh, that's what we tend to do with the pros, uh, but I'm using milk with this. Okay. So the milk's warming up, I can feel that on the side of the pan, and I'm going to add uh, the oats. And these okay. are just standard road oats. So you can get jumbo oats, you can have lots of different types of oats, but just from a time point of view, the smaller oats cook a little bit more quickly. And oats, as you know, really good source of, uh, uh, of carbohydrate, really good sources of fiber, both soluble and insoluble fiber. So they're super healthy. So, there's quite a bit of protein in the oats as well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. So with, within the, the oats itself, within something like this, you're going to get about six grams of protein uh, from uh, uh, from the oats. So okay. the oats are a good source of protein. All, you know, uh, wheat, all of these foods are good sources of protein as well. So we just uh, drop those in. We'll give it a little stir. What you've got to do with porridge is just make sure that it doesn't stick. Yeah. And what I'm, the, the secret ingredient to this porridge is actually going to be the coconut oil. Oh yeah. So love coconut oil for lots of reasons. And from a, uh, a pre-ride meal point of view, then the coconut oil gives these uh, uh, medium chain triglycerides, which the body can use as a good fuel source. Also, it gives an amazing texture to the porridge and the fat in it, it slows down the digestion and absorption. So it feeds you over a longer period of time. So it'll keep you full for longer. We touched a little bit earlier on about protein. Yeah. How much is going to be in this pan of porridge now? There's actually not that much because okay. salmon milk's not that high in protein. Okay. So there's probably only about six grams of protein in this portion. Uh, most of that is really just coming from the porridge oats itself. Okay, so for a rider, you know, of my size, for example, so 73 kilos, a road rider, mm. is that enough protein for my breakfast or do I need to be looking at other sources as well? It's a little bit on the low side for you. So what I would recommend for yourself who's training hard is just adding a bit more of the unflavoured vegetable protein that we have. Okay, and if you were going to supplement instead with like, I don't know, nuts or something like that, how, you know, we're looking for quite a lot, I guess, another mm. 13 or so grams of protein? Yeah, so I mean, uh, something like 30 grams of uh, 
Uh, of nuts will also give you another six to 10 grams of protein, depending on the nuts. So you could chop those and put those on top. And then there's like there's things like the porridge toppers as well, which is within the book, which will add that little bit more protein to it. Okay, should I turn us down? We're yeah, boiling. turn We're it boiling. down. All of a sudden it's finished, it's cooked really quickly and it looks really nice and creamy. It does look really good, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, can we stick a bit of that protein powder in now? Which, just... Yeah, we'll, we'll put some in. Because you just know, switch that right That's not in. a huge portion of porridge, so you know, We'll just, we'll just top it up and uh, which one of us is going to eat it? <laughs> one of the other things that I've just got out as well is things like uh, prunes. You can, add, you can add prunes to porridge as well. Yeah. You can cook them within it uh, while you're doing it. Uh, I love prunes with porridge. I'm not going to add them, but we'll add some of the, uh, uh, um, some of the protein as well. Yeah, cool. So we're going to add a bit of this uh, unflavoured uh, vegetable protein. Okay. One of the things with vegetable proteins is that you're getting a mixture of different proteins together. So, okay. you, so that really helps to give all of the amino acids. So this is a mixture of pea protein isolate. It's also got pumpkin and organic brown rice as well within it, protein. It's not often I've thought to put peas and pumpkins <laughs> in my porridge, but I guess it's, it's an isolate, so that's all right. Yeah, so I mean, one of the things with it is the, it tends to take on the flavour of the food. So we'll put a spoon in, and this will add about 10 grams of protein okay. to that. So give it a good stir, Simon. Right. Yeah. One of the things I'd have with it is, is prunes, but you said that's not a good one for you. Not wishing to give too much detail, but no, <laughs> I'd probably choose another dried fruit. Okay. Or again, we can put some pistachios on it or some other nuts on top of the porridge as well. Yeah. So the texture with that is great. So. The colour is slightly different to what you might normally get with porridge. It's slightly yellower. Yeah. And that is really coming from the uh, from the vegetable protein. So, are you ready to eat some? I am, yeah. Right. I'm going to grab a bowl. Okay, here done. we go. Okay, so, so let's just uh, serve some up. There you go. All right. So. Should we stick some pistachios on? You can put some, I think I think you'll probably want it a little bit sweeter okay. than that, but put That's yourself- a hefty spoon there. Yeah, I use that for the protein. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not having any of the agave, I'm just having it as it is. Um, well, you're also eating from a pan, Nigel, yeah. so I'm not gonna, I won't, I won't judge. I love the texture of it, really like that texture. Right, okay. Go on. It's your recipe, so yeah, <laughs> I'll be the judge. So, you can definitely taste the protein with it, you can taste the, the bit of pea, but I think <laughs> it's, uh, I, I quite like that. I, quite I like really it. like that. Do you like it? Yeah, but you've got all that uh, agave on it, and the, and the pistachio. It's the, the coconut <laughs> coming through for me. Yeah, That's the, coconut, what I really uh, like. the coconut is superb in it. It just gives you such good texture mm. and flavour. That is, that is really good. It's better than what I thought. Yeah. You want to try some? Hang yeah, on, you try some. Right. right, so you finish your first breakfast now, Si. Nearly, Nigel. <laughs> and whilst I've been eating, as you can see, Nigel's been kind of been getting my next meal ready for me. I really am going to have to go for a bite right at the end of all this, aren't I? Yeah. What's coming next? So we're going to do rice pudding made with soy milk. Okay. So rice pudding for me is a meal that you can have pretty much any time before you're going for a ride. I remember, crikey, 20, 30 years ago, riding 25s up on the O2 courses in Yorkshire, and I'd, you know, I'd be setting off at six o'clock, so at four, four o'clock in the morning, I'd have a tin of rice pudding. Rice pudding is a great pre-ride type of meal. So this is something that can be eaten hot or eaten cold. Really easy to make, really quick, Absolutely fantastic. I think also it being like dairy free yeah. would sit better with me pre-ride. Yeah, oh, I, uh, you could eat this and just get straight out on the, on the bike. Uh, again, rice, as we've, you know, rice is a great carbohydrate provider. We're using soy milk, so soy milk's higher in protein than what the oat milk was. We have uh, some sugar, again, bit of sweetness when we're using a brown sugar, which will add a bit of color to it. And we're using our trusty uh, uh, coconut oil again, yeah. Again, we, this adds. This is for flavour, for texture, and also for nutrition for the, so for the ride as well. Really simple ingredients. Yeah. Nothing to overcomplicate no. things, and just really good for you, I guess. Yeah. And and again, what, what I you can cook this on a pan, or you can put it in the rice cooker. It's really easy to do just in the rice cooker. That's how I tend to do it. Brilliant. Let's do it. Right. So we'll open the rice cooker. 
and let's put the ingredients in. No particular order, Simon, but okay. I'll let you do it. So we've 200 grams of rice. Okay, this is short grain pudding rice. Short grain pudding rice, uh, so it's absolutely perfect for rice pudding. Okay. As the name would suggest. Right, add the milk. Now I've got a lot of milk here, so I've got 700 mils of milk because I like my rice pudding a little bit runny. Okay. So if you want it thicker, don't add as much milk. All right, so 200 grams of rice, 700 mils of yeah. milk. Yeah. Okay. Just pour that in. Can I give it a stir, Nigel? You can, but I'd, ask, I'd add the rest of the ingredients first. Okay, that's a fair point, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, all right. So we've got about 30 grams of sugar here. Okay. That doesn't sound like very much for no, a big not, rice pudding. No, I'm not a big sweet sweet fan. You can add more sugar if you want. It's not okay. a problem. It's just I don't like things too sweet. Is the soy milk sweetened? This one is sweetened with apple juice. And that's okay. one of the other things you've got to consider when you're buying any of these non-dairy milks. Yeah. Is, do you want it sweetened? And what do you want it sweetened with? Okay. But it's really important to make sure that they're all fortified. Okay. So with apple juice, that's like a fructose, yeah. right? So not necessarily that good for you, but... I personally, when I'm buying uh, uh, the soy milks for myself at home, I just go totally unsweetened. And okay. the one in the recipe in the book is unsweetened, it's just the one that we've got today, we've got apple juice in it. But right. check, the thing is, read the ingredients. Yeah, I shouldn't have bought the sweet one. <laughs> and then the last one is yeah, coconut just, oil. Ah, coconut oil again. Yeah. Okay, and so we're adding this in simply for its MCTs? MCT, so that's right, you remember. So it's the medium chain triglycerides, so it's this, this fat that's really easy to digest, absorb, and help to fuel us while we're cycling. Okay, cool. It's not complex cooking this, is it? No, it's pretty simple, mate. And, <laughs> which it is, is good, for, yeah. It is for cyclists. Exactly, and we could actually wang this in the oven, I guess, could we? If, yeah. If like you, a normal rice pud. Yeah, you could cook it in the oven. Uh, you can, you know, cook it on the stove top. Uh, you know, you can cook it lots of different ways. Uh, I, I just find because I've got a rice cooker, it's easy just to prune the rice cooker. Yeah, okay. Now, close the lid and see if you can work out how to switch it on. We said two buttons. So yeah, I'm so go menu, for... just press menu. So then that's just... White rice. Yeah, and then press start. Top right. The one with yeah, flashing at me and saying yeah. start. Yeah, okay. Right, ready, go. That's it. It's now cooking. So that'll take about 25 minutes and then it's cooked. Bonus. We need a sound effect for this, Nigel, don't we? Yeah, it should go zzz. Go on, do it. Zzz. Oh, wow. Ooh, that does smell good. That's come out really well, hasn't it? The yeah. I don't know why I'm always surprised. No, I don't know why, Nigel. These are your recipes. <laughs> no, but I'm always surprised how good it's come out. Can I serve up? Yeah, serve up. So, like I said before, that there were quite a lot of milk in it, but actually that could probably stand a little bit more, a little bit more milk. Yeah. All right then. And to finish it off, we're going to have to have some of my own made blackberry jam. I think that would be rude not to, Nigel. Okay. Only a small spoon for the jam, though. Okay. You can put a bit more than that in. No, 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 no. You said small spoon. <laughs> yeah, small spoon, but with a big, big heap on it. Oh, I see. I'll give you a big. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's plenty for me. Okay. Right. Tell you what, Nigel, we should do more cooking videos. You just, I just get to eat oh, all day. Oh, it's really, oh, it's really, really cool. Yeah. Next one we're going to do is Christmas dinner. Nice. That is really very good, actually. Better than what you think. Fair play, Nigel. Yeah. But again, what you could do is you could eat this cold. Uh huh. So if you would, you know, if you're doing an evening time trial or evening road race, something like that, you finish work, you need some food. So if you've got this, you've got it cold. Take it to to work in the Tupperware, munch it on the way as you go in there. Job's good. Yeah, fantastic. Well, there we go. Two incredibly simple recipes. Anyone can make them. I mean, literally, and they're both highly nutritious and also plant-based as well. Mm. As we said at the beginning, they come from uh, our new book, Plant-Based Cyclist, written by Nigel, and it's available now in the GCN shop, so do make sure you check it out. And we also have other videos with Nigel cooking as well, and you can get through to one by clicking on screen now. Okay. This is great, mate. Thank yeah, you very okay. much. You're welcome.